Hi. In this slide, I want to ask, what do we conclude from the case study we just saw of the distributor that had uh, a huge variance in value exchange ratios? In other words, the margin percent as a percent of sales, less cost to serve as a percent of sales, gave different what we called NBC, net before compensation, a, a, a relative really of, of net profit. and. Uh, so there, there are a number of, of, of conclusions uh, or observations, uh, and I'm going to cover in two slides. This is the first one. First of all, and I think it's maybe a big one, is there is no minimum margin percent or maximum that you need to make a, quote, profit on a customer. It turns out that there are a lot of variables besides margin percent that go into cost to serve. Uh, that would keep cost to serve lower than margin percent. The key is just that cost to serve has to be lower than margin percent, so there is a net profit percent involved. Um, the second key point is to, as we look at the wide range of, of metrics as far as margin and, and, and cost to serve, we realize that between a distributor and a customer, uh, an inner business process relationship has grown up, in a sense, on an evolutionary, uh, unmanaged way. N nobody on either side has said, hey, wait a minute, let's flowchart the total relationship and look at all the elements therein and decide whether this is really the most efficient, effective way for two people to be doing business with each other. What has happened instead is everybody is focused on a certain metric. Inside salespeople are trying to answer the, the phone in two rings. They're not thinking about most profitable customers or unprofitable customers or, or anything else. They're just, you know, they've, they've got something, one or two things they're focused on. Uh, outside salespeople are, are paid typically to go get more margin dollar and ideally at a higher margin percent, but margin dollar first and foremost, so boy, that's what they're going to do. They, they can't be worried about cost to serve. If we say go out and charge fees for services and there's no margin and they can get paid for it, that's going to militate against them getting margin. So, of course, they're going to run out and try to find you know more margin dollars where often the cost of service is greater than the margin dollars because that's the easiest business to find. Uh, so everybody is focused on, on our side and on the other side on, on one or two metrics. Nobody's looking at the big picture, and that means there's a huge opportunity. Now, I will say that there, there are one, two, three, four percent of our customers who are looking at the big picture, at least from their viewpoint, and they are very disciplined, systematic buyers. They, they actually may have a vice president of supply chain who really understands what that's all about and is measurably uh, making uh, better economics happen uh, on the buy side. And to a certain degree, disciplining and 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 and, and keeping their their vendors from having a lot of dysfunctional purchasing noise that this that, that they've got to eat um, and and lose money on in a sense. Um, so here's the other question, which is that if you have a a high or a low margin percent cost to serve. Uh, why is that? Because that's still a symptom. What are the root, root, root causes? And what kind of deep dive cross-reference analytics do we need to get to the, 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 the real uh, cause drivers of, of either good or bad uh, kind of numbers in the value exchange management uh, uh, thinking uh, world? Um, and another question is, why always, when we have a very high cost to serve, must necessarily the customer have a high total procurement cost. Why are all of our costs in our channel more or less mirrored by the partner on their side? So this doesn't work just on selling to customers of high TPC. If we have, if we create high cost to serve for one of our suppliers, they're 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 going to have a, a a problem on their side of the fence also. So it's interesting that wherever we have unproductive relationships. It turns out both partners can can turn, in a sense, lead to gold and be alchemists and, and uh, both do a lot better. Uh, we'll continue on with more observations in the next clip. Thank you.